Today, Sara and I are going to make riso casimir, which is a very special dish in our family. It's gonna be curry chicken with rice, and it will be accompanied by all kinds of fruit. So the rice was in the cupboard, we had some canned fruit in the pantry, and then we also have some very ripe bananas that really need to be used. This dish is going to be in honor of my mom and a very precious friend named Deb. My mom would make this dish on very, very special occasions and it was always a great celebration. And so, of course, we adopted it in our home as well. And one day, I prepared it for my friend Deb and her son. And ever since then, they have very much loved it as well. Finally, we're gonna show them on this video as to how to make it. We're gonna place the chicken in here and just not necessarily brown it, but cook it a bit. And here we're gonna add some water that we are already boiling. And then eventually we will put the curry and the cream in here. And here we're gonna add the curry. Give it a quick stir. Oh, you have no idea as to how good it already smells. Now just a bit of water and we'll allow this to simmer, cover it up. We place the rice in some salted boiling water and now we're gonna cover it up. I know there is a lot of water in there but we'll show you a trick in a minute. Five minutes have gone by, now we're gonna drain all of the water out. Now we lay our two towels up, folded them up, we're gonna place this on here and we're gonna put the lid back on and allow it to finish cooking this way. We have peeled the bananas. Now we're gonna put some more butter in here and we're going to probably cut the bananas in half and place them inside the pan and then put the pan inside the oven to allow the bananas to caramelize. The bananas can be slid into the oven and we're gonna allow the oven to do its magic. The liquid has mostly absorbed. Now we're gonna put the cream in. And if you don't have cream, you can also put coconut milk in it from a can. And we're going to add some of this as well. we'll allow this to cook down a bit. We have already flipped over some of the bananas. Now we're going to do the ones on this side as well and allow them to caramelize on the other side. Our bananas are finally ready to come out. And look at this nice sauce, this caramelized sauce. It is going to be absolutely delicious. We have created a well with the rice. And now in the center, we're gonna place all the chicken as well as this wonderful sauce. As a final touch, we're carefully gonna lift up our caramelized bananas and we will place them right here on the edge just like this and go all the way around and this is going to be the absolute best part as for this buttery reduction we're just going to drizzle it right on top and you guys, this will be absolutely amazing. It is time to finally serve our riso casimir. And we're gonna get some rice and banana and place it right over here. Let's get a bit more. be so good. I'm going to place one more banana right across here. And now the meat. I'm going to place this on this end with some of this wonderful sauce. And now for some of the best part, we're going to put 
some almonds right across here. We'll also get some of these pecans. And what about some of these pumpkin seeds? And what about an accent of these beautiful red cranberries? Oh wow, already like this, it's absolutely delicious. But now everyone is gonna be able to pick some of the fruit to put on. We can place some tangerines on there, here and there. There we go. Maybe a few pieces of pineapple. And you can just fix your plate the way you prefer. And now, just maybe two of these peaches. And we are ready to dig in. So I'm going to take my fork and I'll be the first one that gets to taste it. So here we go. This curry chicken with fruit and some rice. And oh my, look at this. And then we'll add some bananas on it as well. But right now I'm gonna wish you un buon appetito.